Hello, everyone, and I hope you recovered. I um, mean, what a race. Uh, it's been, I mean, the season has been incredible, but getting down to the last lap of the last race of this season, that's been uh, obviously a lot of scenario were written, but not really where, you know, no one was expecting that. Um, having both drivers would deserve the championship uh, as much as, as the one from the other. But at the end, um, I think Max and Louis and Max and, and Red Bull were a little bit faster this year. Uh, let me explain why. Uh, I guess it's all started with the change of regulation through 2020 to 2021. Um, was it made to slow down Mercedes? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, doesn't really matter. What it made is that we had a really great fight between Red Bull and Mercedes for the whole season. Um, we can definitely that, uh, see that Mercedes suffer from those new floors, uh, the cuts that they made on the floors. Looking at the Aston Martin, you know, the Aston Martin uh, used to be very, very competitive in 2020. And it's not a secret that it was uh, kind of a, uh, a B Mercedes and it went, uh, you know, they, they, they really slowed down, they really struggled this year more than, than they did last year. Then uh, Red Bull really pushed hard with Honda, with Max all together. They uh, they created a package um, that was made for 2021, and they put you know a lot of effort in that season um, to win the championship. Uh, so yeah, I think you know looking at the championship, we've got two very different characters. We've got Lewis, um, seven-time world champion, very very calm. I think he's done his best season ever in Formula One. Really drove out, outstandingly well, um, especially those last few races at the championship where they really, with Mercedes, they, they took the upper hand. For 57 laps in Abu Dhabi, he was going to be eight-time world champion, but but there were 58 laps. Um, and Red Bull, Verstappen, um, Honda, very fast through the whole season, um, a lot of lot of wins, um, and also some hard luck. I mean, if we look at as a bad jump, Baku Max was leading the race and he had a puncture, so that's 25 points gone. Uh, Budapest, you know, um, Valtteri crashed into him, so he lost some good points there. So, you know, all in all, yes, Max got really lucky in that last lap of the last race of the season. There is no doubt about that. Uh, and I am pretty sure Max knew he wasn't going to be world champion for, for that race. Um, but also, if you look at the full championship, you know, it was, it was unlucky sometimes. Um, so I think we, you know, we've seen one of the best, if not the best season ever in Formula One. Um, I think next year, I can't wait for next year. Um, and yes, you know, I think that everyone is, is having a different view on that one. Um, again, I think both drivers really deserve the championship as much as the one from the other. Um, was it the right call in the safety car? Well, the safety car was the right call. Should have we gone, let the car buy or not? If we had not let the lap cars buy, you know, all the Max fan would have say, "Ah, oh, why? You know, they didn't let the car buy for Max and Lewis to fight for the last lap." And if you're into Lewis shoes, you are like, "Why did they let the car buy? It was a cushion for me to protect myself." I think really here what happened is that Lewis was and Mercedes were very unlucky. I mean, they've they've been incredible this year. They've been absolutely incredible, but they got really unlucky in that last uh, safety car because they didn't have the chance to pit. If they were pitting from where they were, they would have been stuck on the track. And imagine if the, the race doesn't restart, the safety car doesn't come in, they lose the world championship. Whereas if you're on the Red Bull and you have a free pit stop from P3, you're stuck on and you're going to exit the pit in second position. So if the safety car doesn't uh, come in the pit before the end of the race, you didn't lose anything. If the safety car comes in for the last lap and you're new tires versus Lewis Hamilton on the hard, all the hard tires, you have a huge advantage. So, yes, I mean, you know, we can debate as much as we want about the safety car, the lap cars, and so on. I think what we had is absolutely incredible. I was, I mean, I would, I got more stress watching the, the last lap of the race than sending some big overtake through the corkscrew in IndyCar at Laguna Seca. But I enjoyed it. I mean, I enjoyed it. And as I say, I think both drivers really deserved a lot the championship. Both drivers really did an incredible season. I can't wait for next year to see them fighting again. Probably George Russell will be in the mix as well. And, and Checo Perez has been playing a big role here. He's been doing a, a really good job for um, for Red Bull. And, you know, with the change of regulation, who knows? With the change of regulation, we may have uh, McLaren, um, you know, uh, Alpine, or uh, Aston Martin, whoever coming in and, and having a good, good race. So, I mean, 
let's um, let's get ready. Uh, let's enjoy Christmas, New Year's. Um, we are on for an amazing 2022.